Welcome back everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Well, have you ever been walking around biomes and all of a sudden you come across a little tiny thing called a rock den? Looks like a boulder but has two little eyes in it and lets you make or a little menu pop up that indicates that you can go ahead and make yourself a little friend. Let's talk about what that is. This is a two-part video as to pros and cons about pets. So let's start with, hmm, let's start with the cons, shall we? Okay, well, here we go. Pets in general are not good and don't starve together. I know, I know. This is my personal opinion, and of course, anybody out there that decides otherwise, I think everybody has, you know, the way that they play don't starve together. So don't feel like just because I'm saying pets are not worth it, in my opinion, of course, you know, others could think otherwise. But what I'm basing it off of is the fact that pets really don't do anything at all. When you go up to a pet's den, or sorry, a rock den for that matter, you have the options of choosing which pet that you want to go with. You have the broodling, you have, of course, the little ulet, where you have the little eye, which is actually, you have to uh, get the milky whites, which is from killing the terraria boss. You have the giblet, you have the glom glom, you have the kitty cat, you have the mothling, which requires you go to the moon, and you also have the vargling, which is, in my opinion, the best one, just because how cute it is. However, the problem is, is that they don't really do anything. The only one that really does anything specifically is the Mothling. Unless you consider the fact that the Broodling originally, like the Chilled Larva, will actually, uh, you know, kind of render you a little bit of time going through the process of getting a cold and blah, 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 blah. And like, you know, it's there are some things that these pets do. The thing is, is that they don't really do much. Nothing that really makes them stand out. And for that, going through the process of actually caring for a pet and having it with you doesn't really benefit anything at all. It's been rare that I've actually seen anybody go around and get a pet nowadays. Most people are fine just having Chester follow them. And for that matter, I don't really see anybody even using them because, like I said, there's really no plus sides to them. Originally, I started seeing a lot of people use a Mothling when it first came out, but the fact is it's not really worth it because you can just walk around with a set of Moggles or a Lantern or even a Miner Hat for that matter, even just having a torch in your hand. It is cool to have a pet, I guess. It's more of like an aesthetic thing. It's like, okay, am I walking around with, you know, a cool shirt on? Well, that's the same thing with a pet. They don't really do anything, but they look interesting. The other thing that pets actually suck at is when they are hungry. They decide to bark at you or make little tiny noises. And for that, I have to always use pet mute mods, which basically makes it so the pets are always muted. So why are pets good? Well, we'll have to save that for another video. But for now, I'm going to keep going down the list of why they're bad. Like I said, they don't offer any bonuses. They don't really do anything that's really anything game changing. And in reality, there's just no perks behind them, which kind of is the same as what I said the first time. So really, there's just no good reason to actually get yourself a pet. If you have to go through the process of getting yourself spicy chili, you have to make guacamole, you have to get milky whites, which requires killing a boss, you have to get yourself a feather hat, which is actually fairly easy, you have to get yourself some taffy, and so on and so on and so on, you start asking yourself, the value here is really not worth it. So I'm really hoping that Clay wakes up and actually decides to give pets a little bit of a bonus. Even if it's something minuscule, I would really take it, right? 10% uh, whatever per pet would be pretty cool. 10% attack, 10% uh, more sanity gain per minute, 10% uh, speed boost, 10% blah, 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 blah. Just overall, give us something that could benefit for having pets in the game. Then once again, now we have a little companion that's got, that's giving us a permanent buff. It's really not that much to ask for, and I think we would then see a million different pets start to show up alongside other people in the server. But anyways, that's it for me. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Comment down below if you think otherwise.